Major science journals have banned the use of ChatGPT or other artificial intelligence from scientific writing. As many of you may know, AI has been widely used in various industries, including research, programming, and journalism. However, concerns have been raised about the potential for it to perpetuate bias and inaccuracies in scientific writing, and in particular, the role that it may play in plagiarism and whether or not an AI can be credited as an author on a piece of scientific literature. So what are the reasons behind the ban in AI for scientific writing? Why can't AI be an author? And will we ever see AI be allowed back? Let's discuss it. The type of artificial intelligence like ChatGPT are large language models or LLMs, which use various machine learning techniques to train a network on a very large set of text to be able to mimic written language. This results in their awe-inspiring ability to generate grammatically correct, well-written text on almost any topic. But this leads to many problems in the academic space. For starters, these tools are so good at writing or summarizing texts that it can be very difficult to identify what is written by an AI and what is written by a human. We'll discuss how we can do this later in the video. But I think you can already see how this is an issue for assignments involving essays, leading to serious problems of how to structure assignments such that students are unable to cheat using AI tools. However, let's stick to the conversation about scientific research. There are three main issues that arise from AI written research papers. One, the perpetuation of false information. Two, plagiarism. And three, authorship. So let's discuss each of these in detail. To begin with, let's discuss the perpetuation of false information. Anyone that has used ChatGBT or other similar AI tools knows how it can give a response to almost any question. But that doesn't mean that the response is accurate. For things like programming, these tools can be very accurate at producing code that does what you want and works, or at least it's very close. But in science, close is not good enough. We need absolute accuracy. Here is an example of where I asked it to describe two-dimensional magnetic materials with some references. Most of what it writes is correct, but some of the information is incorrect or misleading and fails to represent the field well. Likewise, some of the references are not correct. They seem to be mashing multiple papers together to fit the narrative. If people were to use this to perform a literature review or to help write texts, there is a chance of getting things incorrect. Furthermore, if there is already false information out there, these AI tools may just replicate these falsehoods, which was certainly not something that we want in scientific communication. In summary, the AI tools that we have available to us are not accurate enough for the standards of science. This will likely change in the future, but for now, it must be used with a lot of caution. The second issue is plagiarism. Just like when writing an essay at school, in science, you can't just copy text written by other people. In many people's view, these AI tools are the epitome of plagiarism. The AI is producing some text because it copied it from some other text. I think this does somewhat do the AI some injustice. You could argue that we only produce text based off what we have read or heard as well, and very few people are actually generating new ideas or describing them in a fundamentally new way. But it still does raise the question for the AI. If you can't be sure that the AI hasn't plagiarized the work, then you can't use it. Holden Thorpe, the editor-in-chief of Science, said this on the issue. The use of AI-generated text without proper citation could be considered plagiarism. Science journals ask you to confirm that the work is original, and to them, ChatGPT does not fall under this. The last issue is about authorship. On pre-publication websites, there have already been multiple papers that have ChatGPT as a co-author on the paper. But the question is, can an AI, at least at the level of AI that we have accessible to us now, 
actually be counted as an author. Authorship in science requires contribution to the scientific content, not just writing some well-phrased sentences. And it is hard to argue that these AI tools actually contributed scientifically. Additionally, authorship in a paper has with it responsibility. Magdalena Skipper, who is the editor-in-chief of Nature in London, said this on the issue. An attribution of authorship carries with it accountability for the work, which cannot be effectively applied to LLMs such as ChatGPT. Last, to be an author, you have to give your consent. And it is hard to argue that these tools can actually give this consent. So where does this leave us in terms of AI? Nature journals have now laid down two principles about the use of AI in research papers. First, no LLM tool will be accepted as accredited author on the research paper. Second, researchers using LLM tools should document their use in the methods or acknowledgement sections. So it would seem like AIs can't be an author and we shouldn't use them to write scientifically. Well, at least there's not a complete census on this yet with some journals saying you can't use them and others saying that you need to acknowledge that you did. But can we even detect if someone has used these tools? The answer is yes, at least for now. And even this is tentative. Tools like ChatGPT have patterns in the way that they write, which comes down to patterns from the large catalog of texts that they learn from. And certain tools can detect this. But this is gonna get a lot harder over time. Either AI tools need to include watermarks so that we can detect when someone has used generated text, or we will need to potentially constantly train AIs to detect if other AIs have written the text. A constant battle of AIs. But not all artificial intelligence is bad for science. Check out this video about research where scientists used artificial intelligence tools to help them simulate a wormhole on a quantum computer.